Starting your career in a new environment can be challenging. From the moment you arrive, you will communicate with people from a variety of backgrounds with varying levels of experience and expertise. And part of your role is to contribute to an inclusive, harmonious and success-driven environment. How you communicate with others is paramount and will have a huge impact on how those you work with perceive you. Hi, I'm Anisha and I'm going to walk you through some of the behaviours required to effectively communicate with those who you will be working with. Research found that 106% more applicants are battling it out for every job than there was a year ago, highlighting just how tough the current job climate is. So, here I am on client site, working with my new colleagues and planning the next steps on how to improve an automation process and remove persistent bugs in a new system. In order for me to work at pace and get the job done in the right way, I've had to communicate with a number of people across various departments by email, phone calls, virtual and face-to-face -face meetings. I've had to consciously think of how I communicate effectively with each person because everyone is different. For example, some people like you to get to the point quickly, whereas others prefer to have a chat before getting down to business. Some people focus on the bigger picture and others focus more on the detail. I've worked with people who like to do a lot of research before taking action and others that like to dive straight in and figure it out as they go along. All of this has meant that I've learned to adjust my approach to suit the communication style of the person I'm collaborating with. This has helped ensure communication is clear and the job gets done as planned. Let's explore this a little further by taking a walk to the type of departments I've collaborated with. Conversations about projects can take place pretty much anywhere, which is cool as you'll get to step into someone else's world and gain perspective of how they operate in an environment different to yours. Whether you're communicating face-to-face, -face, virtually, via email or phone, there are many benefits to communicating in a way that you are clearly understood and respected by others in the workplace. Here are some of the benefits. Work is more enjoyable. People are more likely to go along with your recommendations. Keeping a positive mindset and focusing on solutions rather than dwelling on negatives or problems. Reliability and building trust. Improved role prospects leading to career progressions. Check out the other videos in our library, including tips on effective stakeholder engagement. Thanks for watching.